find a way to run From the city of the sun You could have stayed, it's only over when the day is done I never knew you was a runner, yeah I mistook you for Hey everyone, my name is Aaron William Benjamin and I'm a left arm fast bowler I'm 19 years old and I represent the UA under 19 cricket team. Today I'm going to be rolling with GoGo -Go magazine. I started playing cricket at the age of 7, so this was about uh, 2007 and uh, this was in Botswana. So I started playing cricket with my dad and we both loved the game. So we started off with tennis ball cricket and we just continued to play until I got better and eventually we had an under 13 trial and that's when I got selected into the school team so that's where I could say that I started playing cricket uh, but otherwise uh, it was mostly in the backyard uh, I credit my dad to all of the backyard training that he gave me I love cricket because it's very rewarding in the sense that if you put in the hard hours and you train really hard you'll get a lot out of it so in the sense of a fast bowler like me uh, getting a batsman out is the most rewarding thing that can happen so having that feeling at such a young age made me instantly fall in love with playing cricket so when i was about 12 and i got my first five wicket haul it was a feeling that you know i didn't get anywhere else and i knew if I keep going and I keep playing hard, I'll have more experiences like this. So I kept pursuing cricket and uh, eventually got into the Botswana Under-15 team with this mentality. In life in general, my parents are my inspiration because they taught me that, you know, if you keep working hard and you keep doing your best, you'll eventually uh, reap the benefits. Uh, Cricket-wise, my inspiration is uh, Chum in the Vas. As we have the same action and uh, you know he also started in Sri Lanka and he got into the men's team when he was 19 I think so I just kept trying to follow that uh, road if you can say and uh, still look at him as a big role model uh, in my game and uh, getting the opportunity to go and meet him was also a really big deal for me and uh, getting coached by him also so it was uh, really unique experience and uh, so he would be my bowling <laughs> Though I was born in Sri Lanka, um, I lived most of my life in Botswana, so 15 years and by the time I was 13 years old, I got an opportunity to represent the Botswana Under-15 team so that was in a format series against the Namibia Under-15s um, I performed well and uh, I think in late 2015, my family decided to migrate to the UAE, so I moved over here. And uh, I had to wait out the three years to become eligible to represent the national team. So I played domestic under-19 cricket and eventually got my call up. And uh, in 2018, I managed to represent the UAE under-19 team. So uh, by the age of 17, I uh, was able to represent two countries. So that's how I went about doing it. The first major tournament I played in was uh, in 2013, so this was the format series against Namibia. Uh, after that, I had to wait out my three years, so then my next big tournament was uh, the 2018 Under-19 Asia Cup, which was held in Bangladesh. Uh, after that, uh, it was the World Cup qualifiers in 2019. And uh, my last two tournaments for the UAE Under-19 team were the Under-19 Asia Cup qualifiers held in the UAE and the Under-19 Asia Cup which was held in Sri Lanka. So in total, five big tournaments. My career best performance would be in a match against uh, a school called Whitestone College from Zimbabwe and that was in 2012. Uh, I picked up my first Pfeiffer and uh, went on to get six wickets in total so six wickets for 12 runs and that's my career best so far. I can't really say even if I tried hard enough because uh, in a span of three years I went on to represent two countries in uh, international cricket so 
anything is really possible. Um, right now, I'm aiming either to play uh, club cricket in Sri Lanka, uh, try to get into the first division, or to continue playing um, men's cricket for the UAE. So both of these are my goals, and I'm trying to do them both at the same time. So when we have off-season here, I'll try to go to Sri Lanka and pursue my dream of uh, playing first-class cricket over there. But uh, until I finish my uh, university degree, I'm going to continue trying to get into the UA men. This is our to leave it all be my cricketing life in the UAE is much less easy than it was in uh, Botswana. As in Botswana, there was less competition and, uh, you know, if you're fast, you'd automatically have a bit of an upside against uh, other bowlers but in the UAE it's uh, much more competitive so in that sense uh, it's uh, you can't take a back seat as much as uh, you could have done and uh, still though uh, both are associate nations uh, I guess because there's a larger talent pool over here it uh, becomes more competitive and so I have a bit of a tougher time over here than I would have had in Botswana. Life in quarantine was uh, quite tough considering I was a very active person playing university matches, domestic matches and uh, you know trying to train every day so being uh, disallowed to do things like that uh, you know kind of hindered my game and the progress I'd been making but I mean it affected everyone so I chose to look at uh, it in a positive way and uh, focused on fitness and uh, managed to lose a lot of weight during this time which was uh, real upside to my game as now I have less weight to carry when I'm trying to bowl long overs so in that sense quarantine has been hard but also very useful in uh, you know looking at other aspects of my game such as fitness and also um, 